I was on Jason Black's or oh, the Black Authority uh, Facebook page and there was a thread that he had posted and I'm going to actually read to you what he said because it actually made a lot of sense to um, the narrative. He said, I'd like to thank Jesse Smollett for proving what we've known all along. The LGBTQ movement is largely an anti-black male movement. He paid black males to be the fall guy and let them get arrested when he, he knew they were innocent. We will never let you forget this is what you are. He also made another post where he says, I want to go on the record saying the media will blame black men for Jesse Smollett and say if he'd been more accepted, he wouldn't have flipped out like this. Either that or they'll say he was on meds and that's why he flipped out. Now, when I was going through the first post that I just read, I came across this image right here that somebody posted. Now, if y'all remember, I did a video about the first one about vibe where it says straight black men silence on Jesse Smollett's homophobic and racist, whatever, whatever. And I was like myself Tariq, and a few others were very vocal about his attack alleged at what well, this point his alleged attack because it, <laughs> it turns out that it wasn't true and of course BET that is owned by Viacom is a white owned company put out their piece where it says where straight blacks and white gays failed Jesse Smollett now the one who wrote for Vibe magazine and I like I said at the time I didn't know Vibe magazine was even still a thing was written by a gay Hispanic, I want to say, if I want to break it down, I want to say he was either Puerto Rican or Dominican. Now, I don't know who wrote it over at BET, but I'm just going to say that it was probably a black woman. I hate to say it, but that's probably who it was. It is amazing to me how they were, how when this first happened, when this first happened, they came out with these hit pieces. Immediately, I will not be surprised or shocked that they don't come up and say something completely different or uh even uh hell that we know they're not going to give an apology we're old one but they're not going to give one because that means they'd have to admit fault admit defeat and admit they were wrong and they're not going to do either one of those things like i said we live in a world where like harvey says where black men are the boogeyman we always are the easier target you know what in my narrative of the soft target theory, I always said that the soft targets was black women, black men and women who were of a certain age, like elderly and black children. But to be quite honest, I'm going to have to throw black men in there somewhere. As a matter of fact, we might be the biggest soft target because we get hit from every possible angle. We get hit from outsiders and from within our own. Hell, we'll get hit from outsiders from across the pond and they don't even probably won't even know us. It was a story that I came across where this cop, I don't know who it was. It was on Tariq's page. He said that if y'all come across this particular rapper to shoot him on site, guess which rapper they were talking about? 50 Cent. They didn't put his name in the article, but they mentioned a song. They mentioned the In The Club song, and we know that's his song. They said to shoot him on site, and this was a so-called Hispanic cop that said that if y'all follow Tariq on his page y'all may go see it I might do a video about that it's like we get all kinds of hatred coming our way and we just try to mind our own damn business but like I said between these two articles the one that Damon Young wrote uh was it la last year talking about how straight black men are the white men of the black community and a host of other things that come out of the root or as professor black Drew calls it the weed the griot madame noir and so many others is like they literally take turns taking jabs at black men whenever they get a chance and to be honest a lot of black men including myself are quite fed up with it that's why a lot of black men are starting to become more reserved on how they jump out there with certain stories so when you see some uh people say why didn't you do this and why didn't you say this and do this and do that think back to pieces that were written like this and how some people agreed with it or didn't even try to come to the defense and say look this isn't right you can't just say stuff like that at the end of the day some of us have to come and defend our own necks because no one else is going to do it for us like i can't remember it's only a handful of people who are not considered a 
heterosexual black male who actually clapped back against these these type these type of articles not just these two in, in particular but these articles in general but they are few and very 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 far in between we know that they're not going to apologize for what they said like i said in the beginning they owe us an apology but we know we're not going to receive it and i'm not even looking for it i'll be genuinely shocked if they actually do but this one right here the black gay community is going to have to hold this huge L because of him. But they're going to try to sway it to the black community as a whole for what he did. This, let's put it this way. If black people were on cold, on a unified front, this would be seen as treason and Jesse Smollett would be dealt with accordingly. He wouldn't have to worry about dealing with the backlash from Holly Weird. It's the backlash he would have to receive from the black community as a whole for what he did. That To the point where whatever Hollywood does with him would be a cakewalk compared to what we would do with him. There's a lot of people out there saying that he needs to be arrested and put in jail. You know what? I couldn't agree more because you had us actually come into bat for you for what you claim happened to you and have us all looking out here looking like, well, not everybody because a lot of people didn't fall for it, but for those who did had them looking like fools Posting your picture up and saying, pray for you, and I hope they catch who it is. Uh, racism has no place here, or uh, being homophobic, and this, that, and the third. Now, everyone is like, hmm. Thank you so much, Jesse Muller. Thank you. Thanks a lot. You made it that just that much more difficult. I mean, it was hard already, but now it's even worse. But to the people who write pieces like this, most of them are interns. They ain't getting paid. And if they are, they're getting paid pennies on the dollar, if that. But y'all let me know what you think down in the comments, and I'll talk to you in the next one.